Hi friends, welcome back to another lesson with the Natural Educators and Truck Matters Park Foundation. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit more about insects and how to identify them. So my name is Jaime, as we are going to on a little hand for insects. Let's see what we can find today. All right, friends, but before we go on a search for insects, I would like to review some important information first. The first thing we have to know about insects is who study insects. The person who study insects is called an entomologist. This person is in charge of looking for the different variety of, of insects, identify them, and study more about them. And with that, guys, we are going to learn now about the different parts of an insect. In order to be an insect, all insects have these different parts. You normally start with the head. Then you see the thorax, that is like our chest for humans. We also have the abdomen, that is the last part of the insect. Insects normally have six legs. They also have a pair of antennae. And that's an insect. It's really important to understand that spiders are not insects. Spiders are arachnids. Uh, spiders have eight legs and insects have only six. Also, spiders normally have one body part or two body parts. In our example, we use the black widow because I want you to all to notice that if you see a spider like this one, we are going to analyze it, we are going to see it, and then we are going to say bye bye because they are really poisonous and we don't want to um, get close to them. Uh, as well for this insect uh, video and insect identification, we normally use some certain tools. Some of them are the aspirator, we normally have the scientific journal, the field guides, and the um, magnifying glasses. For this specific exercise, we just use the aspirators and some little guides. Here, the aspirator. We call it like this because we actually going to aspirate the insect inside of this tube and then it's gonna go inside of this container so we can all see it more clearly and identify all the parts of the insect right we have also this different part that is the host that at the end we normally put a little straw right so we can aspirate properly and we hold it with one hand uh, really uh, fast the important thing of these aspirators is that they have a filter and with that uh, the insect only get into the container and uh, without aspirating any uh, sediment.
So we did have a good finding and now let's check out what Anna got. All right, friends, uh, we got to see what Anna uh, identified. Now we're going to see what Kayla found and what she got to identify. As part of the pictures, we're going to see some caterpillars. We're going to see a really interesting caterpillar called the Ranch Tiger Mod Caterpillar. Also gonna see some crickets and a grasshopper. We're gonna explore what Sierra found. Let's see what Sierra found. And now let's see what Gino discovered. Alright friends, and now that we know how an insect looks, we're going to try to do a little crap for those of you that cannot go outside. Alright, so we have three uh, pipe cleaners, and what we are going to do is we are going to make it into a pair of antennae. So let's do it. Alright, so the first step is to make a little X. Once you make a little X, you want to um, try to tangle it together. So you just need to pass one in front of the other one. So you connect them, it looks like just one long strip. And we're going to connect the other two ends. And how we do it, we're going to make a little X first. Once you have your little X, you just tangle together and connect them together again by putting one end on top of the other one and this end on top of this other part so you're gonna see that you end up with a crown shape or a round shape and now we're going to use our third pipe cleaner to make the pair of antennae so we're gonna put it inside of the circle and once if it is inside of the circle we want to pass it around the circle You can start with a B shape. After the B shape, you pass it around the circle and you have your pair of antennae. So I hope you enjoy. And if you have any question or any suggestion, please comment on the video or comment on our social media. Now we have Facebook and Instagram. So please feel free to share with us. Thank you, friends. Until next time. And don't forget to be a good steward.